This article deals with the various ethnic groups inhabiting the Caucasus region. There are more than 50 ethnic groups living in the region. By language group, peoples speaking Caucasic languages Caucasians who speak languages which have long been indigenous to the region are generally classified into three groups. Kartvelian peoples, Northeast Caucasian peoples and Northwest Caucasian peoples. Kartvelian languages Georgians, Svans, Sans, Northeast Caucasian languages Ivar Andic peoples, Ivar Zandic peoples, Andis Akavikurata Botlik Skodaberi Chamalal Spag Valls Tindus, Zezik peoples, Tsez Hinuk Bezta Hunzibs Kwashi, Lesjik peoples, Agals Lesjans Rutals Tabasarans Sakhurs Krits Buduk Hunans Archans, Dargins, Kinalug, Lax, Nak peoples, Bats, Chechens, Kis, Singush, Northwest Caucasian languages, Abkars, Abazar, Circassians, Adigir, Kabaday, Cherkas, Ubik. The largest peoples speaking languages which belong to the Caucasian language families and who are currently resident in the Caucasus are the Georgians the Chechens, the Lesgans, the Kabardans and the Avars, while outside the Caucasus, the largest people of Caucasian origin. In diaspora in more than 40 countries are the Circassians with about 3 million minus 4 million speakers. Georgians are the only Caucasian people that have their own undisputedly independent state, Georgia. Abkhazia's status is disputed. Other Caucasian peoples have republics within the Russian Federation, Adiga, Cherkis, Kabardans, Ingush, Chechens, while other Northeast Caucasian peoples mostly live in Dagestan. Peoples speaking Turkic languages Caucasians that speak languages that belong to the Turkish language family. Azerbaijanis, Balkas, Karaches, Kumiks, Meskitian Turks, Nogais, Turkmens. The largest of the Turkic speaking peoples in the Caucasus are Azerbaijanis who number 8,700,000 in the Republic of Azerbaijan. In the Caucasus region, they live in Georgia, Russia, Turkey and previously in Armenia. The total number of Azerbaijanis is around 35 million. Other Turkic speakers live in their administrative republics within Russian Federation, Karachays, Balkas, while Kumiks and Nogais live in Dagestan. People speaking Indo-European languages Caucasians that speak languages that belong to the Indo-European language family, Armenians. Hellenic group, Caucasus Greeks, including Turkish-speaking Christian Greeks, Georgia or Urims, Pontic Greeks, Iranian group, Ossetians, Talish Kurds, Yazidis, Tats, Mountain Jews, Slavic group, Russians, Cuban Cossacks, Terek Cossacks, Ukrainians, Armenians, number 3,215,800 in their native Armenia, though approximately 8 million live outside the Republic forming the Armenian diaspora. Elsewhere in the region, they reside in Nagorno-Karabakh, Georgia, and the Russian North Caucasus. The Ossetians live in North Ossetia, Alania and in South Ossetia, which is de facto independent, but de jure is part of Georgia. The Yazidi Kurds reside in the western areas of Armenia, mostly in the Aragat Sot Mars, and in the eastern areas of Georgia. An administrative Kurdish region was created in 1923 in Soviet Azerbaijan but was later abolished in 1929. Pontic Greeks reside in Armenia and Georgia. Pontic Greeks had also made up a significant component of the southern Caucasus region acquired from the Ottoman Turkish Empire that centered on the town of Kars. Russians mostly live in the Russian North Caucasus and their largest concentration is in Stavropol Krai, Krasnodar Krai, and in Adygea, Georgia and the former South Russian Caucasus province of Kars Oblast was also home to a significant minority of ethnic Germans. Although their numbers have become depleted as a result of deportations, immigration to Germany, and assimilation into indigenous Christian Orthodox communities, people speaking Semitic languages Caucasians that speak languages that belong to the Semitic language family Arabs in the Caucasus, Assyrians, 
Caucasus Jews of two sub-ethnic groups Mountain Jews and Georgian Jews. Assyrians in the Caucasus number approximately 35,000 people, and live in Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan and southern Russia. There are up to 15,000 in Georgia, 3,500 in Armenia, up to 15,000 in southern Russia and 1,400 in Azerbaijan. They are an ancient Semitic people, descendant from the ancient Mesopotamians. They are Eastern Rite Christians, mainly followers of the Assyrian Church of the East, and speak and write Mesopotamian Eastern Aramaic dialects. There are about 15,000 minus 30,000 Caucasus Jews, as well as descendants of Said and Siddiqui, the people with Arabian origin, but mostly assimilated by other Caucasian peoples. However, some people identify not just as Said or Siddiqui with non-Arabian ethnicity, but as Arabs. Karmic people The Karmic people, or Karmiks, is the name given to the Oirats, a Western Mongols in Russia, whose ancestors migrated from Dis Hungaria in 1607. Today they form a majority in the administrative Republic of Kalmykia on the western shore of the Caspian Sea. Kalmykia has Europe's only Buddhist government, by location. This gives ethnic locations about 1775 before the Russians came. All of these peoples were Sunni Muslims unless otherwise noted. In the mountains there were some pre-Islamic customs. NWCLS means Northwest Caucasian language speakers and NECLS means Northeast Caucasian language speakers. It should be noted that the linguistic nationalities that we now recognize are somewhat artificial. 200 years ago a man's loyalty was to his friends, kin, village and chief and not primarily to his language group. The difference between steppe, mountain and plain was far more important than difference of language. Only the southern half had organized states, usually Persian or Turkish vassals and few, if any of these states corresponded well to language groups. Northern Lowlands The Turkic-speaking Nogai nomads occupied almost all of the steppe north of the Caucasus. In the 19th century they were pushed far southeast to their present location. Formerly part of the eastern steppe was occupied by Karmiks, Buddhist Mongols who migrated from Dis Hungaria about 1618. In 1771 many returned to their original homeland and they contracted to their present location in the far northeast. No guys temporarily taking their place. In the southeast were the isolated Terek Cossacks. Their settlements later grew into the North Caucasus line. There were a few Turkmens in the center of the steppe, North Slope. The western two-thirds was occupied by Circassians, NWCLS divided into 12 or so tribes. They long resisted the Russians and in 1864 several hundred thousand of them were expelled to the Ottoman Empire. To their east were the Kabardians, NWCLS similar to the Circassians but with a different political organization. The term Lesser Kabardia refers to the eastern area in what is now Chechen country. South of the eastern Circassian Kabardians were three groups that seem to have been driven into the high mountains about 500 years previously. The Karaches and Balkas spoke similar Turkic languages. East of the Balkas were the Ossets, Iranian speakers descended from the ancient Alans who controlled the future Georgian military highway and had a growing Christian minority. East of the future highway was a north-south band of Ingush, NECLS similar to the Chechens. The numerous Chechens to the east were later to wage the long Murid war against the Russians. For the small groups south of the Ingush Chechen Sea south slope below, to the east along the coast were the Turkic Kumiks, Mountain Dagestan. All the peoples of Mountain Dagestan were NECLS except the Tats. In the northwest were a number of small language groups and Andi people, similar to the Avars. To their southeast were the numerous Avars with Akhanate at Kunzik who fought in the Murid War. Southeast were the Dagwa people and west of them the Laks who held the Kumu Khanate. Southeast along the Samur River were the Lesjan people with many subgroups and then the Iranian-speaking Tats down to Baku, Caspian coast. 
From Astrakhan to the Terek River there were the Buddhist Karmic nomads. Along the Terek were the isolated Terek Cossacks. From the Terek to Debent were the Turkic-speaking Kumiks with a state at Taki. The town of Debent itself had a majority Persian population, as it had for many centuries, until the late 19th century. On the coastal plain south of Debent was a mixed population, mostly Azari, and further south to Baku were the Iranian-speaking Tats. When Baku became a boom town the Tats retained a majority only in the mountains. The mountain Jews, who had a number of villages inland from the coast, spoke a form of Tat called Judeo-Tat. The lowland south of Baku was held by Azeris, Turkic-speaking Shiites. On both sides of the current Iranian border were the Iranian-speaking Talish, South Slope, Black Sea Coast. In the northwest the mountains came down to the sea and the population was Circassian. Southward the coastal plain broadened and the population was Abkhazian, similar to the Circassians but under Georgian influence. South Slope proper. On the south side of the Caucasus, the mountains fall quickly to the plains and there is only a small transition zone. The inhabitants were either Georgians with mountain customs or northern mountaineers who had moved south. The Svans were Georgian mountaineers. In the center the Iranian Ossets had moved south and were surrounded on three sides by Georgians. East of the Ossets and south of the Ingush Chechens were three groups of Georgian mountaineers on both sides of the mountain crest, Kavi, Kefsurs, and Tushishans. The Bats were NECLS entangled with the Tushishans and the Kis were Chechens south of the mountains. Near the Georgian Azari linguistic border there were some of ours and Sakhers who had crossed the mountains. Associated with the Sakhers were the Ingiloi or Georgian-speaking Muslims. In the North Azari area were a few Udans or Southern Lesgians and Lakhij or Southern Tats. Southern Lowlands. The western two-thirds were occupied by Georgians, an ancient Christian people with a unique language. The eastern third was Azari, a group of Turkic-speaking Shiites under Persian influence. On the fringe of the Georgian area were Georgian speakers who had either adopted Islam or mountain customs. Further south the land becomes higher. In the west were the Laz people or Georgian Muslims. In Kars province there were Turks, Kurds and Armenians. The Armenians were somewhat concentrated in modern Armenia but were mostly spread out as a minority all over Asia Minor. There were groups of Azeris west of their main area who tended to blend with the Turks. The Kurds were semi-nomadic shepherds with small groups in various places and concentrations and in Kars province and Nakhchivan. In the far southeast were the Iranian Talish, Gallery, Azerbaijani. Circassians, Pontic Greek militia fighters from the Transcaucasus region, Georgians, Mingralians, 1865, Dagestani, Mountain Jews, 1898, Azerbaijani female from Baku, Russian settlers in Azerbaijan, 1910, Richard Cosway's portrait of an Armenian, Kefsir clansman in Georgia, 1910, Karachays, Group of Lesji Men, 1880, Mullahs at the Mosque near Batumi, 1910, Circassian Warrior, a raid by Kurds, Armenian from Shusha, Nagorno-Karabakh, early 20th century, groom wearing a choker at a Tushishan wedding, family of Caucasus Greeks from the former Russian Caucasus province of Kars Oblast, circa 1900. Caucasus Greek officer from Muzare, Ardahan district, former Russian South Caucasus province of Kars Oblast, Major Christophorus Adamidis of the Russian Imperial Army, circa 1895.